My name is Maya Hazlett, and today I'm going to show you how to do a soil nutrient testing experiment. The goals of this experiment are for youth to learn a little bit about plant nutrient needs, um, do some exploration of how soil testing works, uh, and then understand why it's important to do uh, soil nutrient testing to grow good crops. Uh, for this experiment, um, you'll need a few different uh, samples of soil. Um, it's nice to have a variety of soils to test so students can have something to compare. Um, so this could be soil from a field, uh, soil from a garden, uh, soil from a wooded area or a prairie or some other natural area, uh, or it could be soil from um, different types of fields with different crops or different management. Um, for each soil sample that you're going to want to test, um, you'll need a clear sealable container. I think that the mason jars work well for this experiment. Uh, you'll also need a, a soil testing kit. Uh, you can uh, buy these at any garden center. You can also buy them online. Um, and uh, this kit comes with the testers and then the chemicals that you need to do the soil test. So, the first thing you need to do is uh, make the soil mixture. You should follow the directions on the kit, um, but they're usually about one part soil to five parts water. Uh, so here I have two and a half uh, cups of water and then I'll add uh, half a cup of soil. Uh, the soil uh, needs to not be super fine, but it doesn't work as well if it has big chunks in it. So if you have big chunks, you'll have to break those out to be able to measure out um, the soil. You have to have a sealable container because then you're going to shake this. And you shake this for a minute, and that will make a solution of the water and soil. After you shake this for a minute, it needs to sit for at least two hours. It's best if you let it sit overnight. Because then what you will end up with is something like this, where a lot of the soil has settled to the bottom, but you have this solution of soil here. If the solution is too dark and cloudy, the soil test won't work as well. So like I said, you want to let it sit for at least two hours. Uh, overnight is better. Uh, and then you'll use the uh, testing kits uh, here to do the soil tests. Uh, these are color coded. What you do is you add a chemical and that chemical reacts with the nutrient and you will then see a color change. So it's a color change reaction. Uh, the more of that color, the more of that nutrient is present in the soil. So for these, You're going to fill up the container with your soil solution. You want to take uh, from the top of the container. You don't want to get down into where the soil has settled. Again, that'll be too dark and cloudy and you won't be able to read the test results. You also don't want to have the youth or you pick these up and move them around too much because then the soil will remix. And again, it'll be too cloudy. So I'm using a, a pipette. Uh, disposable pipette. Uh, if a lot of the kids come with them, if it doesn't, you can also use a medicine dropper to pull up the water from the top as well. So I'm just filling up the container with liquid. All right. Um, if you're doing this with youth, it's nice to have them working in pairs and have one youth hold this because they do sometimes tip over, and then you just have to refill them. But it's nice if you don't have to. All right, so then you just, they're color coded. So this one is blue. This is a phosphorus test. So I'm going to use the blue nutrient test. For this test, uh, you don't put the capsule in. The capsule does not dissolve. You have to open the capsules. And I'm gonna put this in the small side over here. The 
powder is non-toxic, you don't have to worry too much about getting it on your hands, but just make sure that you do wash their hands after the experiment. Um, so I've got the powder in this side. Um, this side is clear. I'm gonna give this a good shake to um, dissolve that powder in the liquid. And then this needs to sit and run for about five to 10 minutes. And like I said, the more of that nutrient, so the more phosphorus that's in this one, the more blue this side will uh, turn. And you're going to then rate that blue color. So this side here has a scale, and you're gonna pick which one matches best, and then that will give you a nutrient level. So this is not giving you uh, a numerical um, one, it's a, a more subjective rating, but it will give you some idea of whether there's a lot or a little or none um, of that nutrient uh, in this sample. So uh, I like to have youth uh, choose maybe a soil sample or two that they want to test or choose what nutrient they want to test for. Uh, I also like to have the youth start by start the experiment by coming up with the hypothesis. So do they think one soil will have more nutrients, less nutrients? Um, will nutrients be low? Will they have more of a particular nutrient? So I like to have them sort of think about that and come up with a hypothesis first and then choose what soils and what nutrients they want to test. Um, you can also just divide youth up into groups and have different youth test different nutrients and then you can come back together and have the youth compare what they found um, for the different nutrients and the different soils. So this is a pretty um, easy experiment that you can do. It's pretty quick um, to set up. Um, you just need to you know, get things ready the night before. Uh, and it's a really nice way for youth to start thinking about uh, plant nutrient needs and why our soils are so important. Uh, please check out our other videos for more ideas for fun experiments you can do.